Hello, and welcome to the Super Data Science YouTube channel. My name is David, and today we're going to be looking at the summarize all family of functions from the dplyr package. So let's load dplyr and create a data frame to work with. Now the data frame we're using today comes from the Air Passengers data set, which is one of the preloaded data sets in R. All we've done is made it into a data frame and added a new column called year. So let's have a look at the data frame now. As you can see, we've got the number of flights for each month for each year from 1949 to 1960. Now, first of all, we're going to move the year column to be first, just to make it a little more logical to deal with. So we'll reorder the columns. So it's air passengers equals air passengers. And then if we hit control shift and M, we get our piping. And we're just going to use the select function. So select year and then everything else. So if we run that and have a look at the data frame again, we can see that year is now on the left as we wanted it to be. So now we're going to use the summarize all function to get the max for each of our variables. So we do max flights equals air passengers. And if we hit control shift and M again, we get our piping. And then we do summarize all. And our function's the max. So if we run that and have a look at max flights, we can see we've got the maximum number of flights for each month. We've also got the max year. So if we want to just have the max for each month, we can use summarize if. So we'll have max flights for each month equals air passengers. And then we use summarize if. And our if statement is going to be is numeric. So we're only going to do this summary if the variable is numeric, which means it will exclude the year variable. And again, we want max. So if we take a look at that, we can see we no longer have the year variable. So if we have a look at the structure of air passengers, we can see that the year is a character variable, which is why it wasn't summarized in that summarize if statement. Now we're going to look at getting the mean flights for each month beginning in J. So we do mean flights by month that begin with J. And we're using our air passengers data set again. But now we're going to use summarize at. Then we do vars so that we know that we're dealing with the names of our variables. And then we use start with. And we can use any of these this family of functions. So it could be contains, one of, or ends with. And, but this time we want starts with j. And the function we want to apply to each of those is mean. So here we can see we have the mean number of flights for January, June, and July. Now we're going to use a mutate function. We're going to use mutate at, but you can do mutate all, mutate it as well. So we're going to add columns for the first three months with their medians. We're going to add these to the air passengers data frame. We want mutate at, and again vars because we're going to deal with the variable names. We want one of, from month absolutes, we want one of the first three. So we're going to put one to three. And the function we want to use here is funds med, which stands for median. And then med is going to be added to the name of each of our new variables. So now if we take a look at our new data frame, we can see we've got these three additional columns called Jan underscore med, Feb underscore med, and March underscore med, which is the median of those months. I hope this video has been really useful. If it has, don't forget to share and like it and subscribe to the channel.